Hey boo, this is Nika, and I am pleasantly unbothered. Thank you so much for joining me for day five of Loptober. As usual, we're gonna jump right in with the activity for the confidence boosting challenge. If you don't know what that is, but you wanna improve your confidence, your self-esteem, or just the way that you feel about yourself, you should definitely join us. Check out day one of Loptober right up here. That way you can see what this is all about. We actually walk through all of the activities together and we're gonna be keeping the momentum going and holding each other accountable by checking in every single day and reciting our personal power phrases. And again, day one will explain what that is, how to go about it, how you can join, and believe me, you should absolutely join us. All right, so getting right down to it with my personal power phrases, and I hope you have yours and you're reciting yours as well. I am beautiful, I am sexy, I am desirable. I am supported, I am valued, I am, where am I? Loved, <laughs> let's do that again. <laughs> I am supported, I am valued, I am loved. There is so much more to me than my appearance. It is my right and responsibility to show up in this world exactly as I am. And we have a slipping camera. Let's go ahead and... There we go. I have made it through 100% of my toughest days and I will not stop. I appreciate my intelligence, intuition, and emotional awareness. I love my unique sense of style and the way that I present myself. I am peaceful, I am calm, I am pleasantly unbothered. I am worthy of everything that I desire for myself. I love my own personal brand of sexiness and how attractive I've grown to become. I am grateful for my body and all that it has allowed me to do. I am capable of even more than I could ever imagine. I believe in my ability to inspire others and impact the world in my own unique way. By being kind to myself and others, I am encouraging others to do the same. I am loyal, I am supportive, I am understanding. I am worthy of happy, healthy, positive relationships. I am a great mom and I do the best that I can for my daughter every single day. And that's it. It's as simple as that. After I recite my phrases, I usually sit with it for a few minutes, just let it sink in, let it marinate, really think over the words, let them wash over me so that I'm feeling all those amazing, wonderful, delicious feelings. A few minutes every single day, and then I carry on with my day with that positivity and those good vibes at the top of my mind. If you're participating in this challenge with us, I hope that you'll share a couple of your power phrases down in the comment section down below so that we can cheer one another on and root for each other and maybe even borrow some of the power phrases. Like, we're all trying to feel the feels and the good vibes, you know? Feel free to use any of mine that you happen to like or that may resonate with you. They're absolutely yours for the taking, so go for it. The point is that we're all trying to do better, feel better, love ourselves more, appreciate ourselves more. And so I hope that you are joining us for this. I don't think you can ever have too much self-love. Even people who are narcissistic or arrogant or conceited or whatever it is, I don't think that the root of their issue was really too much self-love. I think it's usually masking other things and other issues, other insecurities, but that's not what we're talking about here today. The point is that even if your cup of self-love is full, let us help it runneth over, okay? Let us add to that, sprinkle a little more, add a little more flavor, a little more extra, a little more extra. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but regardless of where you are in this journey, you can always benefit from a boost. And now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and slide into today's video segment. I hope you enjoy it. Hey boo, this is Nika, and I am pleasantly unbothered. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another video. So I'm feeling good today. I've been feeling super inspired lately, and I just wanted to share some of that energy with you real quick. 
So one thing I've been thinking about lately is I've been obsessed with reading things. So whether it's like articles or books or even um, listening to audiobooks and things like that, I have been obsessed with like soaking in knowledge and advice and expertise and, and all these different things. And I feel like it can be so beneficial. So the little tip or trick or gem or what have you that I want to share with you is to take in as much information as you can. If you have hopes or dreams or goals of doing anything in your life, and I mean anything, whether it's buying a house or getting a certain job or entering a certain field or whatever the goal may be, chances are you're not the first person that has ever done something like this or has looked into it or has learned something about it. So read up on it, you know, find the people who know these things. If you want to be successful in any way, there are so many different resources that are out there that are free, that are like at our disposal, at our fingertips, you know. So don't sleep on things that have already come before us or lessons that people have learned. That's one of the, the things I love about my channel, being able to share the lessons I've learned with all of you so that you can potentially learn something if, if you've been there or if you are there or if you've experienced something like it. And there's just so much out there. There's so, so, so much. I've been listening to different uh, webinars and things of people sharing their tips for success. And some of them are like, wow, you're really successful. So I'm imagining you know what you're talking about to at least to some degree. You know, why shouldn't I hear you out and then decide if there's value there? For me, the obvious answer is, of course, I should, you know, listen to what this man is saying or this woman is saying about their learned experiences, about how they got where they are and how they achieved their, their form of greatness and see if there's something I can steal from that or, you know, borrow. We're not stealing, we just go and borrow, you know. <laughs> borrow some of that so that I can get to my, my intended or destined place of greatness. I don't know. I'm feeling super pumped, y'all. I don't know about you, okay? I hope you're feeling pumped too. Uh, if you're not, I hope some of this energy like comes at you. Like I hope it's contagious. Take some, take some, you know what I mean? There's just so much opportunity out here for all of us to do great things in whatever we feel called to do, you know, whatever it may be. So why aren't we like, why aren't we seizing it? Why are we not going to get it? <laughs> We're not the first people to struggle with something or to be going through something or have goals for something or, or to have big dreams that, that might seem unattainable or impossible or, or whatever. We're not the only ones to ever feel those things and many people have gotten there, so why can't we? You could do it, I could do it, why can't we? So go read something, go learn something, go listen to a, a podcast or a webinar or something that's focused on building yourself into who you want to be. I feel like we're always told that we got to go out there and find out who we are and, and learn ourselves and discover ourselves. And to some degree that may be true, but I feel like a lot of it is really building ourselves. Like who are you trying to be? Because it may not happen by accident. You know, not everybody's just going to luckily stumble into their greatness, you know? So depending on who you want to be, you're going to have to work on building that version of you. And I'm going to have to work on building my version of me. And it just feels so, so good and so inspiring to know that you're actively working on something, you know, especially yourself. <laughs> and I've been a work in progress for a minute now. <laughs> and I've come a long way and I'm just so excited to see where I can go, you know, because <sighs> y'all. I'm hype and I hope you hype and like I said take some of this energy if you need to take it it's yours I want to share it with you <laughs> anyhow what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave some resources in the description box below of different things that I've been absorbing lately and if you're interested please feel free to check them out so I get um, like automated texts every morning there's a program or service called shine it's a website i'm not sure what it is honestly <laughs> you basically um get a text message every day that has something 
to do with self-improvement or building yourself or working out the, the kinks in your, your routine or your schedule or your life or whatever it may be. So I love those. I'll also leave some of the like webinar things that I've been watching, some of the, um, the audio books on SoundCloud. They have actual entire books that you can listen to for free on SoundCloud of critically acclaimed, of, 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 critically acclaimed <laughs> bestseller list, real successful type of books. So it's like, why am I not listening to this? Why am I not? I recently listened to The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, I want to say. I hope I got that right because it was such an amazing book and I highly recommend it and I listened to that on SoundCloud. If you want, you could buy the book and listen along to it if you want. If you have like an Audible, is that what it's called? Um, subscription, you can listen to it like that. I know there's another one called Scrib. Like there's so much out there. Soak up as much as you can. People have been in our shoes before. They've learned some of the lessons that we're learning the hard way, which seems to be my preferred way of learning things for whatever reason. <laughs> but I, that doesn't have to be the case. You know, we don't need to learn things the hard way. We can learn from other people's mistakes or their victories or their lessons. And why aren't we? So take some time, yo. Take some time. Soak up something. Whatever your form of it is, whether you want to listen to it, read it, whether you're doing activities and there's so many books and, and people writing all these all these inspiring and uplifting and motivational types of content and material so go get some of it anyway i'm gonna stop repeating myself i hope you're convinced <laughs> but even if not just take some of the energy because because it's good okay it's good go do something great go be great go step into your destiny Go ahead and, and recognize your potential so that you can finally start working to get there. Like, we can we can be doing so much better. Even if you, if you at the top, there are ways that we could still be working on ourselves. And I've been a self-improvement junkie lately. I gotta say, and it feels great, okay? It feels great. So anyway, I'ma let you go now. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please do the thumbs up thing. Also, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video. Feel free to share your power phrases down below. Like I mentioned, at least a couple of them. You don't gotta give us all of them. This could be a very personal thing, so I respect that. But give us a little something so that we could cheer each other on and root for each other. The point of doing this together is that we keep each other accountable and we can level up together. So please don't hesitate to interact in the comment section down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that already and turn on the notifications so that you can get the alert every time the new video drops. We are only on day five and we have a long way to go to get to the end of October. I have a lot of cool and exciting videos planned. So I hope that you'll join me for them and that you'll enjoy seeing more of this face. I know that there are a thousand other things that you could be doing or watching right now, so I certainly appreciate you being here with me, and I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. Bye.